How's it going everyone, College Lefty, and in this video I'm going to be unlocking Prestige, Craig Biggio, as well as making some progress on Oral Hershiser, Eric Davis, and Jim Tomei. I'm also working on Carrie Wood as well. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam, we'll talk a little bit about this updated schedule here. We will have new Battle Royale rewards, one MVP flashback, which could be a variety of players, and then of course a signature legend. One of these guys is more than likely going to be a pitcher. Just in my opinion, we should have some clues revealed over on Twitter uh, upcoming here uh, tomorrow and the next day leading up to those Battle Royale rewards. Anyway, we're focusing on prestige grinding Craig Biggio. As you can see, he was on second base. I uploaded a video uh, previously on how to kind of grind position players. I talked about RBI strategies as well as uh, strategies for runs scored in those prestige grinds. Some of those players require a lot of RBIs and a lot of runs scored. Here in this one, uh, Jackie Robinson is a lethal weapon to use as he can hit home runs, he has speed, he's got the bunting attribute, and also allows you to uh, earn fastballs. I mean, this opponent is clearly focused on Jackie Robinson. He thinks I'm going to steal. With two outs, he throws a slide step fastball, and we end up hitting a two run shot off of just what was a bunt attempt. But I'm trying to get guys in, in scoring position and on the bases for Eric Davis, for Larry Walker, for the top of my lineup. And that's why I have Jackie Robinson up there to try and uh, get on the board any way he can. You know, lay down a bunt, hit a home run, uh, hit a triple, something like that. Just to try and get in scoring position, get the pitcher's confidence down. Different things that you can do to help yourself in this event. This event is definitely the easiest way to prestige some of these cards or at least face of the franchise legends, some of these prime cards, signature series, or award series players. So we'll get into another game here. Jim Tomei with the home run facing Al Leiter. Now Mickey Mantle smacks one. We got Robin Yount up, bottom of the second. And this Robin Yount card is not all that bad. I mean, he uh, he has hit over 300 for me. Uh, some of his hits have been, you know, given as some of the players just decide to give up in this event. Just give me a bunch of stats. I don't really know. We'll have a little bit of an example in this video right here. We're facing uh, Tom Hankey. We're facing this face of the franchise legend card, and he's very good. I mean, this card can be effective, especially the prestige version, and that's what this opponent was going for because he left him in for a very long time. I mean, he has 14 pitches already. Keep in mind that the stamina is shortened when you're using a relief pitcher or a closing pitcher or even a starting pitcher in six inning games. The stamina is it going to play a little differently than it would in a nine inning game. So as we're able to score a couple runs here, get the confidence down on Tom Hankey, and also get his uh, stamina a little bit lowered into the yellow range, we should be able to score a lot of runs in this game, even if it's on Hall of Fame, even if it was on Legend. That stamina, that confidence will play a big factor. So we go deep three times in a row. I end up getting to third base, brought in Craig Biggio as a pinch runner. And then also hit for my pitcher. I was using Kerry Wood at the beginning of this game. And I'll bring in Oral Hershiser. I'm still trying to pitch innings with him as I've accumulated all the other stat-based missions other than the 126 innings. So that's what we need to do. We need about 40 more there. But we're going to try and get something going here. I mean, he leaves him in. 52 pitches from a reliever is way too many. Even some starters, once they get into this 50, 60, 70 pitch range, on you know on whatever difficulty in six inning games they're going to be in the yellow for stamina so you could imagine that right now his uh his pitcher has no energy at all we we're able to hit a three-run homer with mickey mantle get some of those runs scored and this opponent got a little unlucky i mean he was hitting the ball hard right to the outfielders right to the infielders i'll show some examples as well there we doubled him up in the bottom of the fourth a seven to one game he's he hits one to the wall but Larry Walker will be able to make this play as he just p turns his back, catches it. Sometimes, you know, they don't catch those balls and they'll bounce off the wall. But I always at least try and attempt to make that play because it will save you, you know, a run. It will save you a triple, a double. Could be even an inside the park home run depending on who's running out there and what type of bounce the ball will take. Here the ball takes a, a weird bounce. I'm not sure if it hit off the base over on third, but uh, got all the way down to the left field line. And he was having a tough time picking it up or something. Lou Brock with 99 speed was just like walking to the baseball. I have no idea what that was all about. But we're trying to capitalize, trying to score some runs with everybody on the team. I mean, uh, here I probably could have scored with Gary Sheffield. But I don't need the RBI with Mickey Mantle. I have 
Biggio coming up. I'm trying to uh, tally a run scored. I didn't want to get thrown out. I didn't want to risk anything. I'm trying to hit a home run. And that's exactly what we do. So we tally another hit. We already have the base knocks out of the way. Biggio scores two runs in this game. We only need one more run scored with him in order to unlock the prestige Craig Biggio. And then I don't know what happened. All of a sudden this opponent just started letting the ball drop in. Here with Eric Davis we are going to tally a triple and a couple RBIs. That card has been very good for me. I mean that wasn't deserved at all. But I, I do want to get the prestige card of Eric Davis and try him out in left field, in center field. That amazing speed and reaction on defense is great. Uh, he, he robbed a home run recently in left field for me. And I don't know what happened, but we'll hit a home run with Larry Walker as well. Now we have Jim Tomei up. I would have continued to, you know, try and hit the baseball, try and score some more runs, but I, I accidentally lined out to right field. That one, uh, he had the kind of lock onto it, and he had no choice but to make that play. So kind of a weird way to end this game. I don't know why that keeps happening or why that's happened a few times in this event. This Another, another opponent is going to do something a little bit different, but also, you know, just give me a few runs a little later in this video. But uh, here Jackie Robinson lays down another amazing bunt. Beats it out with 95 speed. And this is exactly what I need. I need one more run scored with Biggio. I know Biggio's not on the base path quite yet. But he will be once I steal second with Jackie Robinson. Just trying to manufacture. And now he's on second base. So we have Larry Walker up. A 3-2 and two count. We're going to rip a perfect, perfect ground ball. That was a little bit below the zone through the right side there this opponent also has Larry Walker so there's no way I could possibly run on that one a uh, three and two count we end up scoring the final run for prestige Craig Biggio with the bases loaded walk and I'll certainly take it I mean here that was an easy home run pitch had pretty good timing on it just check swung didn't press the button down all the way and here's another one of those I mean I did try and check swing that time the opponent should have thrown to home plate though to try to avoid another run scored in that situation maybe he doesn't get the double play but another run does not come in to score and now later in this game Craig Biggio we do have the prestige card but he's still in the ball game I use him as a pinch runner so now he's in the leadoff spot where Jackie Robinson was and I'll be using Craig Biggio at catcher for the most part but I kind of was using him as a versatile player off the bench as a pinch runner just to grind those runs scored here Jim Tomei goes deep to increase our lead three to nothing and now we have Eric Davis up. Bottom of the fifth. We were able to kind of shut this opponent down. But he left John Smoltz in for 78 pitches. This is where he starts to get into the yellow range. Even if he has over 100 stamina. That is due to the fact that we're playing in a six inning game. So you have to be careful throwing your pitcher for more than like four innings in a six inning game. Just because it is tough to throw complete games in a nine inning game in general. And you kind of have to use that ratio for innings pitched. So... With that being said, you know, if you go, try and go like seven or eight innings with your pitcher, they tend to get a little bit easier to hit. That's exactly the same as going three or four innings in a six inning game or maybe even five. So anyway, we were able to tie this one up. This opponent was doing some some funny stuff. He was uh, laying down a couple bunts with Mondesi and uh, trying to steal second and third base. And he was playing pretty good. He was able to manufacture a run, able to get something going with only a couple base hits. And here we end up taking the lead. I wanted to replay this home run because I thought that it was absolutely launched. We already replayed one in the previous game with Gary Sheffield. This one was hit 420 feet, 105 off the bat. I thought it was hit a little bit further and a little bit harder. So that probably wasn't even worthy of a replay. But it is what it is. Now this opponent is just walking, guys. I mean, he's trying to hit, hit the players for no reason. I was just thinking about running to second there. So that's why the announcer is saying something about uh he beats that out even though he was out it was it was a walk this one is a drop third strike though this is an actual strikeout uh because i did try and bunt i didn't know if he was going to continue to do that so i was just trying to lay down a bunt with jackie get in scoring position with a couple guys to manufacture some runs as well and then he just kept doing it so we were able to get the uh griefing rule i guess i don't know he walked in too many guys or he walked too many guys in a row and the game just forfeits you but we do have a lot of progress on some of these prestige cards. I'm looking forward to getting these guys for my ranked seasons team. Uh, I did go ahead and lock in Jim Tomei, so I'm now at 40 out of 50 earned, and then I only need those few base hits. Oh, I was also able to pull a couple diamonds. Here we get one diamond out of a set 13 headliner. I completed the Andre Dawson program as well as the Evolution Pudge program. 
because I'm trying to collect as many of those cards, like rookies, breakouts, as I possibly can before this huge collection comes out. The only other card I need to do is, uh, I guess, that Lefty Grove mission. But I was able to pull a few diamonds. I know the stub count's going to change a little bit, and as well as where we're at on the Prestige XP reward path. But uh, I just sold Araldus Chapman, and I sold a couple other guys, and picked up a few different players. So that's where the stub fluctuation went. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm College Lefty, and we're able to get a couple, uh, a couple prestige cards unlocked recently, as well as a lot of progress on some other ones. So thank you once again. Peace out.